Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Panda. We're shooting B-roll for the documentary. What do I shoot and how do I shoot with the micro lens manual for documentaries? Let's see. Hmm. Would you guys like to see some of this uh, very exquisite footage? And this is how I shoot documentaries. Let me show you a couple of shots here. Let's see here. No, 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 no. Now, let's go back into... Actually, let's go all the way back. I'm sorry, guys. Slight delay here. There we go. That's a nice photograph of the Capitol. Oh, it's City Hall. So, I want to show you how I use a micro lens to capture. I'm not sure you guys can see that. And I pan shot and at the same time as I manually adjust. And then there's another shot where, oops. And press play on this one. So I've been getting some B-roll here in Japantown, and I figured that since I only have a little bit of battery left, I can't charge it. Apparently, they put some caps inside of these plugs, so we can't charge the batteries. And the battery plug doesn't fit into that compartment over there. So, yeah, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to do what I can. But other than that, just getting some B-roll here in Japantown and I wanted to show you guys some of this good footage. So I'm using a micro lens to capture most of the speed roll. And I use a micro lens for a lot of things. Micro, sports, action. I just like manual lenses but look at this shot in particular check this out i'm gonna press play on this one let you guys see that don't mind the glare i'm sorry and apologize about the glare but here's another shot These are all like 10 seconds, and I'm breaking them down to maybe five, six, depends on the scene. And then I have another one. So I have a lot of good B roll footage yet. So I like the micro because it gives it that mood. That micro lens gives it a mood. So if you're going to set a mood for your documentary, you gotta use a different variety, a different amount of lenses, like a 15, 11, a 24 to 70, or 15 to 30. You can use a 35, a 50, a micro lens. So you have to use your equipment to your best advantages. Like this shot here. I'm trying to get a grasp of the neighborhood that's here. Oh, whoa, what's going on with that? really glary it's really sunny and the clouds are coming in for the second weather the second rainstorm coming in tonight it's, it's this first of all it's this evening so i have time i've got this one piece shot right here japan town all right and then i got another shot so i got plenty of videos I got this shot of the this guy just standing on the corner talking to his buddy. I like this mood. I like this shot. It gives a nice suppression of that background. And then I got him and his buddy together talking. And I like this mood. Gives also gives 
a good story to tell in the in the documentary. So, t yeah. So I'm using micro lenses right now to do a little bit of documentary filming. But uh, yeah, because. I don't know where I'm going to get power to power these batteries. I can't plug the, the brick in that unless I buy an extender adapter, which is that's still going to cost me money, and that money can go to my food. So it <laughs> goes to show you. I'm not going to invest more than in the gear, but with that said, I'm going to continue to do what I can with the batteries I have left. Uh, I should have bought four batteries. I actually bought four more batteries, and I would have been set. But you know what? I wasn't even thinking about that kind of investment at the time, and uh, that's what happens sometimes when you're when so much has been asked of you on YouTube to do this and review this and hey, did you hear about the new Q3 flash? Yeah. So what that said, everyone, I'm the panda photographer, and uh, it's midday in Japan Town, and we are shooting B-roll. And uh, I'm going to go on that side now and start shooting. So I'm going to transition on that side. But if you guys want to help support the channel, just subscribe, like, and share. Ooh, someone's eating already. Uh-oh. I see it. I see those two plates. Yeah, the restaurant's open now, everybody. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to help financially, please, there's a PayPal cash out memo. It really does help me out. But I use the IRIX 150 micro lens it's one of my top sharpest lenses it is mind you there is a 270 de 70 degree focus throw on this so it is very very precise and accurate so make sure you just move it as much as you can slowly and you can lock it and you can lock the lens so let's say i am at 0.3 meters and then now I want to lock it by just twisting this to the to the lock position on top. If I want to unlock it, boom. But sometimes I use on the other Irix lenses. I also use a focus throw on the 15 and on the 11, and here's why: because I'm panning and focusing at the same time. So. It's a technique that I developed from learning from other videographers. So I dispatched my own technique and I use this follow focus and I had this follow focus for 10 years now. <laughs> and it's useful when you need to shoot video with manual lenses. So if you don't have an electronic manual uh, device, you can use one of these follow focuses to do that as well. And as I was explaining to everyone here, I've shown everyone the footage. I think this is going to be substantially all I need. So if I need to rent lenses, I just rent a lens. If I need to rent a 35, I rent a 35. But I'd rather rent the IRIX 45 f1.4 so I can get video with that. And IRIX, if you're listening, guys, I do want that for Canon. But uh, can I get a discount? <laughs> so yeah, IRIX actually offer it for me the discount before and I told him financially I can't right now but I really would like that IRIX 45 for the video for the documentaries that I'm doing so it really would help this video separate itself and I don't have to keep spending money on renting the lenses if IRIX wants to send me a lens IRIX if you guys want to send me a lens just let me know DM me on Instagram the panda photographer all in one word you guys you guys know how to find me what I'm talking about. But anyway, I use a no point rail system when I'm shooting videos. But I just moved this back so I can get that tilt that you saw earlier, that slow tilt. This is why I like using the no rail system. So it pushes some of the weight back to get a nice flow when I need to tilt. All I have to do is loosen this fluid tension system here just a bit. And then if I move this back now, Watch, you see that nice little tilt? So it's tilting by itself, slowly. Yeah. This is how I get some of my shots too. 
a Norrell point would do just fine. This is why I don't use the arm. And I tried to use the arm and I just got frustrated with it. Oh wow, these people's dogs are barking at people. That's like the third dog here today that's barked at so many people. That's scary. But anyway, uh, yeah, I tried to use this Manfrotto, but it's too long for me. I like to have control. I like to be with touch. You see what I'm doing? You see what, how I have my hands is and my thumb? I like to be in control when I'm shooting. You see? I have control. I can stop it. And I normally do this with two hands. If, but I have to do it with one hand. So I have developed this skill where the tension, this drag system here on the Manfrotto 502. And I just try to fine tune a spot where it's just comfortable enough for me to pan up and pan across. Nice and smooth like that. So, but this all counts based on how you shoot. See, this is why I like to be close and personal with it. I don't, I try to use this. I try to, man, photo. I really did. I just don't, I don't like this. <laughs> I really don't. I like the handle. I really like the handle. I just don't like this. This is not how I shoot video with. This is why I made one myself, a shorter version of this, but I have more stability and more the uh, foundation on this uh, fluid hat. And I just figured I just do everything by hand. I took the spring system out of here. So I did for, well, I tried to take the spring system out of here, but that was a failure. So I used it to my advantage, that's all. But with that said, if you want, I'm the Panda Photographer. Let me get out of here. You guys want to support the channel financially? Please do. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the thumbs button up. If you love photography, if you love video, and you love what I do, if I this gives you some inspiration. I know this is the last minute video, but I figured I'd just do a video showing you guys what I shoot with all the time. So, with that said, everyone, let me tighten this up. Uh, there you go. Let me tighten that up. Boom. There you go. Easy peasy. This is why I really like our no point rail system with the flu head. Makes it so ideal. Even for photography, it makes it so ideal. Yeah. But eat, sleep, photography, videography, repeat everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Peace.